Got some mail, bitches. It's a Grum Retro Drive. Let's go. Now that's what I'm gonna call an unboxing. What's up, everybody? Lights on Gaming here, one half of the perfect storm. Here's the unboxing of the Integrum Retro Drive from Jason Baker. Just got it in today. Been waiting for this bad boy. So for those of you who don't know, Jason Baker claims to make a plug and play, completely plug and play like on drive. And from what my experience has been with this, it has been absolutely accurate. I did have it before, but I wanted to update it. Um, I had it about a week ago and he did some new stuff to it. And I want the latest stuff that he, the latest that he's got with it. So here we go, that's not it. Without further ado, here's the Integrum Retro Drive. Jason Baker, hot off the presses, the newest release, Silk Systems Drives. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this set up. I'll be filming the setup. I believe Baker's gonna set it up for me for whatever he's gotta do. I'll be filming that as well. Then I'll do a complete and utter in-depth review of this motherfucker. So here we go, Instagram Retros, Bike Gun Drive. What up everybody, Lights on Gaming here, one half of the perfect storm. Today we are doing a review on the Integrum Retro Light Gun Drive by Jason Baker. That's right, I said Jason Baker. Not Extreme Gaming Cabinets, Jason Baker, because he's the creator of the Integrum Retro Drive. Both the 16 and the 32, and his light gun drive, and that's the fact. Uh, before I start, I'd like to say that I bought this drive. I paid cash money for it from Jason Baker, and he's not paying me or encouraging me to do this review. I'm doing it on my own because I realize no one has done a review on this drive. They've done ones on Chris Coolmod's drive. They've done ones on the Retro Shooter's drive, but I've never seen anybody do one for the Integrum Retro Drive. So if you're ever wondering what's actually on this thing or what this thing is about, here it is. I was not encouraged nor paid by Jason Baker to do this. This is not a paid ad. This is, uh, well, it's not, I'm not doing it because Jason Baker asked me to. I'm doing it because I want to. And it's a really good drive from what I've seen and mess, messed around with it. I also like to say that, uh, you know, once again, he's not encouraging me to do anything. He's also not encouraging me to say any of the things that I've been saying about extreme gaming cabinets. This is all coming from myself, myself alone. Okay. <clears throat> So we're going to start with checking out his files. As you can see, they're extremely, extremely, extremely very well organized. Here he's got tutorials that teaches you how to run this thing. Okay. And this drive is extremely plug and play. When I mean extremely plug and play, I mean literally extremely plug and play. Like we plug this thing in uh, within five minutes and we were up and running. Now I happen to have most of the launchers and things like that that were on here. So I didn't need all the special things that were uh, added to it. But as you can see here under tools, Essentially, you would go in to the install folder, open this up, and just go down the line and load it all up. I believe Baker can and will help you load it up. And if you're having issues, he'll help you out with this team viewer here. He'll load in, load everything up on your PC for you and get it running. There is uh, something that's going on with the three or four Sony games from PlayStation 3. I believe it's Perfect Dark. Um, it is the, I forget the name of it. I always forget the name of this one. It's the little Japanese schoolgirl zombie game. And, uh, it's dead storm pirates. And I believe it is time crisis five. There's like a, a three pack of time crisis five and two other games. Basically what happens is the PC that records the drive. And this happens on every single like on drive or every single drive that tries to install these three games. And then when they send it to you, it caches itself to the video card that makes the drive. And then when you run it, you have to do this uh, quick install video on it. That basically you open up the draw the games, each game one at a time, let it load all the way. 
close it out, and then go back in and delete the caches. I believe there's a couple of videos on it. I will include it in the description at the end of the video. You'll see it in the description. That will show you how to do it, or if you're having issues, you can talk to Jason Baker. I'm pretty sure if, if, uh, if what I heard was correct, he's working on a fix for it, or he's worked on a fix for it, and it should be fixed. So, awesome. What this guy does is, with his drives, it's not just a collection of games cobbled together with some artwork, etc. This guy actually writes scripts. He writes a bunch of things that loads up. As you see here, it says scripts. He writes a bunch of codes and tools, and he's got all this like crazy stuff that works behind the scenes. So, you know, just getting a drive that says Johnny's drive or, or, or Dick Eater Ted's drive, it's not, it's not the same as getting something from Jason Baker. This guy actually puts a lot of stuff into it. It's not just, you know, I'm going to take his drive and remove all the artwork that used to be on there and then post it up and say it's mine and then have the video stutter, you know, like Joe Biden sitting at the podium giving a speech. It, it actually, it's, it's due to the fact that the guy does great work and there's a lot going on behind it. So he makes it to where essentially you can't just delete shit and slap your name on it and think, oh, this is mine. And then it stutters while you're playing Sega Genesis. Like, this is the real deal. This is, this is good shit. I'm also getting a copy of his 16 terabyte drive that I paid for that he's going to be sending me. I'll be doing a review of that as well because I realize there's not one. And uh, yet again, he's not asking me to do this. I'm doing this because I want content on my channel. I want to show continuity between these drive makers. I'll, I'll review anybody's drive. Extreme Gaming Cabinets. You want to prove me wrong? Send me the 32 terabyte drive and I'll review it on my channel. Matter of fact, you want to prove me wrong? You and I will go live and we'll talk, Daryl. Let me load this bitch up. Whatever reason, Jason likes dance music, so he's got that little pumping heartbeat. So as you see here, he's got a bunch of animated marquees, and I believe he's got these on all of the system files. So he's got these on all the system files, uh, I'm sorry, game, all the game drive uh, uh, collections, like Genesis, Master System, Sega CD, et etc. et cetera. He's got animated marquees. This one's badass, man. This one's cool as hell. I'm playing this on a 50 inch four player arcade cabinet. I'm streaming the marquee and my screen. So let's start from the top of his folders. I'm gonna go into each folder. I'm gonna go over every game whether I like it or not. And I'm gonna show you what's what on his uh, on his drive. And that's what we're gonna do. And then at the end, I'm gonna play a couple of games. So let's go into the calibration file. I'm sorry, calibration wheel. Here he's got a setting where you can put it HD or not. The Sinden light gun, this is for Sinden's. Uh, the one cool thing about Jason Baker's drive is he has it literally plug and play for every single light gun that's out as of right now. Uh, Sinden, Gun for IR, Retro Shooter, the light, the whole nine. He's gonna, I'm pretty sure he's gonna have Xena's guns. He's gonna have Blamcom when it comes out, which is another good light gun drive, another good light gun company that's supposed to be coming out and you could essentially have any light gun that you want that they have. So if you wanna play Mandalorian's light gun, they got it. You wanna play around with uh, uh, any light gun. Uh, they got a bunch of different ones. They got, um, I'm drawing a blank, sorry. You wanna play with an E11, they got it. You wanna play a Robocop's light gun, they got it. Basically anything that's out right now, uh, Fallout, the movie, that game Fallout that's coming out, he's got a light gun for that. It's pretty sweet. So yet again, this dude makes it to where you can essentially start you want to play on a Sinden, you're playing on Sinden, you're like I'm bored playing Sindens. I got gun for IR, like I got got the gun con twos by Raymond Die and JB Bonaparte, whatever his name is. You wanna play on these instead of the Sindens, you back out of the game, slap this bitch in there, load it up, and it's gonna load up and switch right over. It's gonna know immediately what game what gun's on here and what it's doing. And it's gonna load it up and play it, which is pretty damn sweet. Got gun for IR, a calibration. And that's the end of this thing here. And HD, I believe if you click this, it'll set all your games into HD. I haven't done it yet, but I'm pretty sure that's what it does. Starting from the letter A. We got five total games of Action Max. One of the things that I've also noticed about Jason Baker's light gun drive is most of his, if not all of his um, themes, as you see here that are talking, are usually in HD. So where HD is somewhat like they're, they're crisp, they're clear. And he has like the best graphics he can. 
Let me start from the top. I don't know why it doesn't do that. Better be. So as you see, the graphics are pretty decent on this and the theme. That one's eh. But as you'll see, as we're going through, most of the graphics on the themes are pretty crisp, pretty clear, pretty good to go. So there's all five games for the Action Max. Me personally, I'd never, ever, ever, and I mean ever, load that game, that, that, that up because it just, it doesn't interest me. I kind of like, I'm a big newer game guy. I like newer stuff, so I would just load the newer stuff. So as you see, a lot of times these these light gun drives or these drive makers, they in the themes, the, the, the graphics aren't too tight there and the themes are kind of dumbed down. But with Baker's, most of his stuff is crisp, clean graphics. Looks almost as good as what the gameplay is going to be. Like these are all old school, old school games. I personally, like I said, it, it's not my cup of tea. I would never play it. But, you know, to each their own. Tomato, tomato, potato, potato. Thomas Wave's got four games going into this. Again, excellent graphics on the themes. I'm loving every minute of it. Like I said, one of the great things about Jason Baker's drive is it's all the stuff he puts into it. It's not just, you know, Oh, he's got 1,100 games on here. It's all the extra shit that he adds in that makes Jason Baker's drives really, really good. I'm taking a look to make sure that my uh, the thing's still recording. I was having issues with it. So we got 73 games of MAME. Some of these MAME games are cool. I, again, I'm just, I, I'm a graphics whore. I like high def graphics. I like things like that. So I'm just going to go game by game so you can see what exactly is on here. Baker's a cool dude, very down to earth. He's actually a sweetheart of a guy. Real nice guy, sweetheart of a guy. Love him to pieces. He's got an arcade cabinet company and he makes his own drives. He makes light gun drives and regular drives. I believe he's working on some other stuff too. Not really sure what that is, but he, you know, I've heard he's working on some, some new up and coming stuff that should be pretty tight, pretty dope. And the cool thing about him is you put, you put, an, you put an idea in his head, like, hey, you ever think about doing this? He's like, no, I don't have time. Next day, you talk to him. He's like, yo, guess what? I'm like, what? Dude, I spent all night and I worked on it. Like, are you fucking kidding me? I'm like, no, I stayed up all night and coded and did this and did that and tied my shoe and hopped up and down, listened to dance music all night. And uh, yeah, I figured it out. <laughs> Holy shit. Like I said, for that uh, that fix for the three uh, Sony games, nobody has that. Nobody's doing that, but he's he's apparently working on it. Dude's the man. And I'm only saying this because he really is a sweetheart of a dude. Like, I, he's, he's, he's good people in my books. What I love about his drive is every single, uh, every single game has its own marquee, whether it's animated, whether it's a still shot, but every single drive has its own marquee. Unlike a few of the other drives I've seen where they had, they all have marquees, which is cool. But it's kind of like the same marquee with just the image on it. Me personally, I, I, I like I like originality. I like having the, the, the you know the new stuff or, or everything to be different, everything to be its own. Even though that was pretty crappy. I forget how many games he's got on here. He's about three hundred and something on the top of my head. I know other drive makers got more, which, you know, that's pretty cool. You got options, options, options. I believe at some point he might, and I'm saying might because I don't know, he might add more games and update it and then release something, you know, that's got uh, everything that everything that's out here to offer, etc. But don't quote me on that. I'm not saying like I know behind the scenes anything because I don't. I'm just saying I think I think he might update a lot of the games on here and, and, and bring out some new shit. Uh, here you see, that, you know, this one's missing a marquee, so he definitely has to upgrade this. So if you're watching Mr. Baker, please uh, give that a marquee, uh, uh, a theme. Not a marquee. 
Tops two. Yeah, a lot of these I just they they don't I don't know what it I, even though I was alive. These were all out in the arcades. It's just it don't interest me. Not alive, but I was I was a kid, forty eight. So I was a kid when this was out in the arcades. But they don't they don't do shit for me to be honest with you. I like the newer stuff. As far as like on games go, I just I don't know. I like the newer graphics and shooting, bucking off on shit. Xbox got two games. Retro Cop Three, Silent Scope. Both excellent games. I play these. I will be playing these. Nintendo's got 24. I honestly probably would never play Nintendo just because, again, not my cup of tea. So we got three and one. <laughs> oh, excuse me, Baby Booner. Barker Bills. Chiller. As you see, I like to kind of go into drives and show you some of the behind the scenes stuff, like opening the files, see what you're going to get. See what you can see, see what he offers. I don't just go right into the games and gameplay. I like to show you, you know, as much of this drive as I possibly can. But the install was smooth as hell. Pretty much within a minute, it's it's about as plug as play as can be. You plug it in and it, it pretty much works. We were playing within 45 seconds. We were playing a new House of the uh, not House of the Dead, I'm sorry. We were playing a new uh, Walking Dead game. I got like a minute clip or whatever up. Me and my boy Joe Cade, Mikey. Multi Mike Gaming on YouTube, check them out. Nintendo Wii, 33 games, decent amount. Yeah, Nintendo Wii likes to murder animals from what I've seen. Not that, I, you know, not that I'm against hunting, I'm truly not. But scrolling through here, it's just like animal kill. Another animal kill. It's coming right for us. They like murdering chickens. Chickens are delicious. Dino Strike is a cool game. I'm just going to do game by game. I'm gonna play a couple of games. I'm gonna end it. I don't wanna make this too long. Link crossbow training is a cool game. Definitely cool. I'm a big um, Breath of the Wild fan. Again, look at look at those graphics. Excellent. On a theme, mind you. I would love it if he had all animated marquees. I love animated marquees. Here we go, coming right for us. It's coming right for us. Sin and punishment sounds dirty. It looks dirty, Jesus Christ. I know, we'll make a light gun with a freaking schoolgirl skirt. Top Shot Arcade, once again. Animal Murder, yay. Wild West Shootout. This game looks kind of cool. I hear they have this game in Disneyland or Disney World or Disney whatever. But I hear in Toy Story World that this is uh, this game's here. So that's pretty cool. Never played it. I've only been there once. And when I was in Hollywood Studios, I remained in uh, Galaxy's Edge. Because I am a massive Star Wars fan, if you haven't noticed behind me with all the paintings. And if you've been on my channel, you'll realize that there's everything Star Wars. Wow, that is a, uh, that is a really cool marquee. That one's cool too. I'm sorry. I didn't draw attention to these before. That was not bad. Pretty nice. All right. Steam, AKA PC games. 33. This is where I pretty much live. I'd live in this. Jason, you gotta give all of these animated marquees, bro. If they're gonna be PC games, you gotta give them all animated marquees, brother. Like that could be better. It's not bad, but that's just Maybe it's just because it's on my marquee. I'm sure on your uh, Extreme Gaming Cam, the marquee, it might be smaller and look a little better, but yeah, that's it doesn't look too good. Big Buck Hunter, once again, it's coming right from us. Oh, she's cute. Oh, damn. How you doing? How you doing? Glam Con Shooting Gallery. All right. Currently, for the month of May, you can get a chance to win a Blamcon light gun. 
Enter to win by entering into this competition in the Light Gun Lunatics Facebook group. And I believe it cuts off at the end of May, so you have about a week. And I know this video is going to be forever, but this is in 2024, the month of May. You have a full month to essentially play this light gun game. Get as high as you can. You have to show that you're playing. You have to be on video. You have to show your score. You have to show your gun in the frame. You have to show that you're shooting. You can have on the crosshairs or have them off, whatever you prefer. You cannot have auto reload on and you cannot um, automatic fire. And you have to enter to win into this competition to win your very own early edition Blamcon light gun from Chris Patch and boys over at Blamcon light guns. Like I stated earlier, this light gun is going to be the shit from what I've heard. Like this is going to rival gun for IR, which I'm looking forward to because I'm a huge gun for IR guy. So I want to see if these guys live up to the hype that they're coming out with. You can either 3D print your own and get the insides from Lamcon when they're ready, or you can buy them direct from them. And like I said, you can have pretty much any of the sky's the limit on the light guns that you can get from here. Uh, if you want an E11 Star Wars, you can have it. You want the Mando pistol? They got it. You want the Robocop gun? They got it. You want the um, the gun from uh, Evil Dead, the one that uh, Ash had? They got that too. Like it's, it's the sky's the limit on the guns. You can check it out on the Light Gun Lunatics Facebook group. Uh, look up Chris Patch. He's a dude in there who's making these damn things. And if you look through his photo gallery, he's got a wall where he's got every light gun that he's making and then some. It's pretty fucking sweet. So yet again, Flamcon light guns, light gun lunatics group in Facebook. Check them out. If you're not a member and you like light guns, you're being silly not to be a member of this group. It's run by my boy Pete, my boy Johnny Law, and it's got some good shit. Yeah. yeah. That's a nod to uh, Retro Ralph and his very straight video that I saw that I keep making fun of. Yeah. Block King's Ball Shooter. Blue Estate. This is a cool game. Real, real cool game. I believe Baker has two players uh, enabled on this. A lot of other light guns drives don't have the two player function on this, but I believe Baker does. Dark Escape. Joe Cade and I played this in the arcade. This was supposed to be super scary and it was pretty much ass. Dead Containment. Another zombie game, kind of cool looking. I'd definitely play it. Dead Storm Pirates, this game's badass. Uh, Mr. Baker, you need a theme on this, my brother. Death Alive. That's kind of cool. That'd be a cool light gun. Friction, I've heard good things about this, but never played it. Fright Fear Land, which I believe is Haunted Museum 2. This is kind of cool. What's not cool about killing weird looking fucking clowns fruit ninja pretty cool game haunted museum part one shooting some mummies heavy fire afghanistan good times good times shattered spear looks like a cool game that's kind of cool looking i wonder if this is a rail shooter huh, pretty sweet that's the dead three that's the dead remake kind of cool never played it but it looks cool updated graphics and such Mad Bullets. I played this a little bit the other day. This was pretty cool. Just blasting away on things. Major Mayhem. This kind of looks like Bro Force a little bit to me, but it looks pretty cool. I might actually play this. Missile Command. This looks badass. I saw some video of this. RK Classic Returns. Nothing wrong with RK Classic Returning. Spirit Zeon. Morhun Pirates. War Killing Chickens. I don't get it, but you know. These light gun guys like to kill chickens. Fun times. I like to fry the chickens. As you can see with my big belly. My big belly. Oh, a prohibition. Yeah, you got nothing on me. She? She? You'll never take me alive. She, Johnny? She? Man. Rabbits Hollywood. This game's kind of goofy looking, but I seriously want to play it. I just want to blast these rabbits. Sailor Zombies. Here's the game. This is the one that I said that needs to be uh, uploaded and has the issues with the cash, etc. And I believe J Jason Baker's working on a fix for it. Typing of the Dead, cool game for sure. Lots of typing, lots of the dead. On my other drive, there's a little patch for this where you can do a little secret trick and you can shoot or you can type. But on this one, it is all about uh, typing. Oh, bad words. I like bad words. That's my favorite bad word. Why will I shoot at those game Looks pretty cool. That is loud as balls. Sega CD. Not bad, not bad. Got six total games. Let's see what you got. Crime Patrol. Yeah, I'll probably never play these. 
Lethal Enforcers, Lethal Enforcers 2, Mad Dog McCree, Mad Dog again, Who's Johnny Rock, blah, blah, blah. Dreamcast. That's pretty nifty. It's five games. Somebody shot me. <clears throat> Confidential Mission, Death Crimson 2, Death Crimson OX. I guess it's OX. House of the Dead Dos, Virtual Cop, and that is that, Johnny. That's all she wrote, folks. Mega Genesis. That's cool looking. I like that. Three Genesis games. Genesis. Notice how you load up Genesis and it doesn't stutter. Body count. Menether. Terminator Do. Who are you? Who is your daddy? And what does he do? Sega Master System. How many games? I forgot to look. 12 games. I like that. That's cool. The animation. Pretty fucking sweet. Pretty fucking sweet there, lad. You know what I mean? Assault City, Gangsta Town. I'd probably never, ever, and I mean ever, log into this and play it. Once again, just taking a look, making sure my uh, OBS is working. I was having issues with it where it was freezing. I got a live coming up on Tuesday that I don't want it freezing for. Wish I'd cry like a baby. Cry like a baby. Rescue Mission. We're working on a Railroad Edition. Shooting Gallery. Space Guns. Zomb wanted. Wanted. Dead or alive. Sorry. The voice of an angel. Sega Model 2. I wonder if he's got the one marquee that I really love for the Sega Model 3. Let's we'll see. I don't want to. And you can't make me either. You'll never take me alive, Kappa. She? Yeah. Because I want it. Want it. Let's see. Yes, he does. Boba motherfucking fit. He's the man. Four games total. La Machine Guns. This game's pretty cool. I like playing this game, actually. It's pretty cool. Jurassic Park Lost the World. Ocean Hunters and the Game of the Century Star Wars Arcade Trilogy. Love this game so very much. This game is badass. I believe you could use a lightsaber in this too and fight as Luke Skywalker. The best version of Luke Skywalker, the one from Return of the Jedi, which was the best Star Wars game uh, movie in my opinion. Nothing like Luke Skywalker with the green lightsaber and the black Jedi robes. Sega Naomi, this marquee is pretty badass. Pretty badash. Confidential Mission, Death Crimson Ox, almost like a repeat of the other one, but there's a couple of extra games up in hell. Maze of Kings coming up. That's a cool game. And out we go. And the way we go. Sega Saturn got 10 whole games. That was a cool, uh, I'm sorry, that was a cool marquee. Yeah, that's pretty dope. I like that. It's very well done. I don't know who did that. I don't know who did these marquees, but they did a bang up job. I'll tell you that right now. Area 51. Chaos Control. This game looks kind of cool. There's Lady Liberty. America, baby. America. Die Hard Trilogy. Oh, naughty, naughty. I wonder if this game is actually playable or not playable. I wonder if that's like true or false. True or false. Maximum fourth. Scud. Never played it, but uh, it looks pretty interesting. Vert to a cult. Super Nintendo. Sega Genesis. Can't resist this. 11, 11 games, sorry. For some reason, uh, birthdays was the word. I can't get it out of my head now. Notorious B.I.G. Lamborghini. Okay, so I questioned this before with Baker, and I was like, yo, why... Why is this on here? And he said, you can shoot in this. So, okay, cool. I don't know if you can, um, if you can control the car and shoot or if the car controls itself. I haven't played it, so I don't know. Metal Combat. This is one of my favorite systems back in the day when I was younger. Uh, Super Nintendo and PlayStation was, was, uh, was the bomb. And yeah, Super Scope, T2 arcade game. You'll notice a few of these games are repeats. You're getting basically the different versions for the different systems, which 
I mean, I'm okay. I understand you want the complete set. I get it. But me personally, if I was a drive maker, I would just include the best version of it or what people think the best version is. That's a cool theme. It has nothing to do with light guns, but it's still a pretty badass theme. And that that is one cool marquee. Crisis Zone, Endgame. Oh, another cool thing. Most light gun drives and light gun makers have made it to where you can only play one player on PlayStation 1, 2, and 3. And I'm pretty sure Jason Baker has made it, because he's a genius, to where you can have both players playing, uh, player one and player two, playing PS1, 2, and 3 games. So that's an added bonus to his drive. Vampire Knight, pretty cool game. Crisis Zone. Starting over again, sorry, I don't want to go back in circles, circles, circles. PS3, I don't know why. Yeah, I guess he needs to load the file so it's an absolute um, alphabetical order. Deadstorm Pirates, Time Crisis Quattro, Time Crisis Rising Zone, Never Storm, never played it. <clears throat> so that's these games, pretty cool. Then you got PS1, 23 whole games. Area 51, Crypt Killer, Fire Trilogy. Let's see if it. Oh, cool! You get a marquee. I mean, you get a uh, you get a theme with this. So again, I don't know if that other version does or does not allow you to play the game. It just did not have a theme. Ghostbusters. This looks pretty cool. I like Ghostbusters. I don't like what they did with the new Ghostbusters. It was horrendous with the woke shit that they threw in there. Just, we just get a movie for entertainment. Do you have to throw your political stuff and your sexual stuff into everything? Can we just we just get a movie for movie's sake? Like, seriously. Judge Dredd. Lethal Enforcers. I'm not getting political. I just, it's, I, I just want to watch a movie. I don't want anybody preaching to me. Left, right, center. I don't care what your political opinion is. Good for you. You have every right to have whatever your political opinion is. I just want to watch a movie. I don't want nonsense. Just enough. You know what I mean? Just enough. Even though I did make a Joe Biden joke, but the man does stutter. That's not, I'm not, you know, I'm not, uh, I'm not forcing my political opinion, but the man stutters. It's bad. And then he wanders off. As I bring my soapbox, I'm well, not going to preach politics, but I'm going to bring my soap. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> it's good. I didn't mean to. It's just sometimes jokes write themselves you tell me stories like that here we go techno parrot the one everybody's been waiting for if you don't have a subscription to techno parrot i highly recommend it you can pay a yearly fee it's worth every goddamn penny because the games are pretty badass and you can play games like aliens armageddon the terminator why you you shoot the center of the target castlevania I, how you how you doing ladies how you i like the uh i like the brunette in this one okay sorry uh, this game's pretty sweet. Get the whip people into shape. Shape it up. Get straight. Go forward. Uh, you need a theme on this one, Bakes. Elevator action. I believe these are in the arcades. Dave and Buster. I never played it. Kind of cool looking. Bar Cry Paradise Lost. Now, this game has really cool graphics. Like, really, really cool graphics. But after the first 5-10 minutes, you get real bored of it real quickly. Because... They essentially just run out and die. It, like, they just run into fire. You know what I mean? I've never seen anything like it. They're just like, I'm just going to run out. Oh, 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 I'm dead. I'm dead. It's silly. Well, that's got to suck if you see that on a Tuesday. Bye-bye Eiffel Tower. Uh-huh. We resist. We, uh, we surrender. Uh-huh. House of the Dead Foe. These animated. He's got some animated ones slipped into here. You got it, dude. You got it. You got to get the animated marquees on at least Techno Power, brother. If you're watching this. You're cursing me out. That's a really cool marquee, though. I like the eyeball. The uh, if you're facing me, this eyeball here. It's cool. Not that you can see what I'm pointing at, but you know, it's the it's the red eyeball that's glowing. That's that's a cool marquee. Jurassic Park. Yeah, dude. You got to get the animated marquees for these. You can't have these new games. And not get the ambient where you, you gotta you gotta if you if you ever update your drive and add some new stuff you gotta fill this with animated marquees because it'll just make it look 
like tits. Lots and lots of tits. Try and get as many animated marquees for your like on drive as you can, because it'll just, it'll set you apart for most people. Like that's a terrible marquee and you need a theme. Oh, you know what? I'm going to play this. I want to check this out. Luigi's Mansion. Oh, and for the record, it's Mario, not Mario. I'm from New Jersey. Stop saying Mario. Even the movie says Mario. Say it right, please. Have a little fucking pride, you know what I mean? Hey, calm. Where's my pursuit? I actually happen to be from the area in Jersey where, where uh, Sopranos was. So I have, a, I have a little fucking pride here, huh? Yeah, that's a cool... That's a cool marquee, man. That's a cool looking dinosaur. Gonna double check, make sure it's still recording. Just get angry. You know what I'm gonna hang? Hey, uh, I'm your worst nightmare. I was just passing through. They brought the water to me. I didn't bring it to them. That's a cool looking marquee. I like that one. If it was animated, it'd be even cooler. Hint, hint. Silent Hill, the arcade. Star Trek Voyager, not a big Star Trek fan. I'm a Star Wars man myself. Star Wars, not Trek. Who are you? I'm the Terminator. Here to save you, get down. There we go, an animated marquee. Even the slight animation's better than the still the picture. Hey look, and it's got the Integrum Retro logo on the top right hand corner. I wonder if Dell ripped that off and threw the XGC logo on there. Oh, rip shot. Oh, there's another Tomb Retro. I bet you XGC's on that on the other drive. Oh, rip shot again. Tomb Raider. Or as I like to call it, Womb Raider, because she is hot, hot, hot. That's cool. That's a cool-ass marquee, bro. Oh, look, another Interim Retro logo. I wonder what it looks like on XGC's new drive that they whipped up in three hours. Bullshit. <clears throat> oh, man. Sneezing. Terrible. That's a cool marquee. Zombie. Wartran Troopers. So there you have the Integrum Retro Light Gun Drive. I am going to now load up some games and play them. Doo -doo 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 -doo. What was that one I want to play? Is it a House of the Dead one? I think it was a House of the Dead one. But that it is. That it is on my Gun Con 2 Light Guns from Gun 4 IR. Please allow me to set this up so you can hear me talking because I just can't help but run my stupid fat mouth. I'm gonna play a couple of games, maybe one or two games. Damn right, I'm successful. I've never, I, I thought you'd be shooting things with the trigger, but I got to hit it with the action button. Zombie what if I want to go back this way? Alright, let's see. Again. All right. Stop with precise timing. Stop with balls and board lap over. Ready? Stop. Maybe. <laughs> That's a weird game. 
A for ass. So this is cool. He's actually got Maim Hooker working. So as you can see, it's on the three button. And every time I pull the trigger, it fires three bullets. Then I go to the one and it fires one. And when I'm out of bullets, it won't fire. So Maim Hooker's working on Jason Baker's light gun drive. Something a lot of these guys don't have and can't get working, but he's got it working, which is pretty fucking neat. Sorry, I'm a loot whore. God damn it. Oh, baby. I just say Mame Hooker is working live and in charge. Oh, oh, I gotta be a loot whore. Loot whore light, son. They're on fire, like Mariah. Move out, bring me down, move out. It's pretty cool that main hooker working like this. As soon as I run out of bullets, it'll just not do anything. So I fire off screen and reload. That's pretty dope.
Yeah. Lateral damage, baby. Get up. I'm here to save you. I just realized I fucked him up so bad. Just around and shot his boys. Bro. Nice. Blow him to shit, Johnny. They're like doing a Rambo. And just letting loose, you know? Well, that doesn't look like fun. That's the underground base. Down in the hole. It's funny the control center. God knows I love going down holes, guys. That's the end of the board. That's the end of the game, the end of the board. This is the end of the review. This has been Jason Baker's Integrum Retro Light Gun Drive review. If you like what you've seen, please like and subscribe to the channel. Or just please subscribe to the channel. Trying to help me out, get over a 1,000, trying to get monetized, trying to get the views up. Please watch this all the way to the end, I'm hoping. Catch you guys later. Lights on Gaming, out.